If you type the word pregnancy into an internet search engine, you'll probably be flooded with everything from pregnancy photo shoots to pregnancy exercise routines to even Kim Kardashian showing a baby bump in a bikini. Oh my gosh, did you hear? Kanye wants to call our daughter North. Oh my gosh, it means my kid will be called Northwest. That's ridiculous. That's like Brad Pitt calling its kid Arm. Never. But because of this abundance of information, as well as the abundance of aunties giving you advice, moms-to-be are bound to come across some strange myths about pregnancy. Today, fitness and wellness expert Lisa Raleigh, as well as medical practitioners Dr. Darren Green and Dr. Lerato Massimola are with me in the studio to help separate fact from fiction about some common pregnancy myths. Welcome, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, we wanted to hear from actual pregnant moms, so our crew went to the SABC Education Baba in Dava to find out what questions these special ladies would like us to answer. Can I exercise during pregnancy as per usual? So, can you exercise while pregnant? Of course you can. You just got to modify what exercises you do, do, depending on what trimester you're in. So ideally you should be exercising for 30 minutes, five days a week. A combination of light weight training exercises and walking is going to be your safest bet. And also to make sure that you practice Kegel exercises every single day. So whilst I'm sitting here, you would know that I'm actually doing Kegel exercises. You can do them whilst you're driving, whilst you're waiting. Um, it's important to tighten those muscles, even if you are having a cesarean. A I'm lot doing of, Kegel exercises right, right now. Right. And I've you never known. Know you see, it's a Poker face. <laughs> uh, and then ab exercises. You need to be doing core stability, not necessarily sit-ups or crunches, because your abs split in half and they land up on either side of of your waist yes, when you true. in your second and third trimester which is very mm. sad for those of us that have nice flat stomachs yes. I say mm. so absolutely mm. you can exercise every single day and uh, there's also another misconception that your heart rate shouldn't go above 140 beats per minute mm -hmm. but the best way to to tell whether you're overexerting or not is to go by your RPE which is your rate of perceived exertion mm. so one being chilling on the couch reading a magazine and ten being literally mm. cannot talk to anyone cannot breathe and you couldn't actually you do that um, exercise for more than a minute at 10 out of 10. You want to be working at between 5 and 7 if you're pregnant and of course focus on breathing, hydration and nice light clothing when exercising. Be gentle on your joints because the pregnancy hormone relaxes everything. Yes, yes. So if you're going to do anything hectic or running too much too fast, you're going to injure your joints. And remember, you're pregnant for nine months, not for the rest of your life. Yes. So you have to take into consideration what happens sure. afterwards. Yes. You know, you want your body to go back to as, as much as possible back to normal to the way you're used to it afterwards. So you basically can exercise yeah. with the rest for a you limited can, amount yeah. of time, rest yes, of yeah. the time you tell your husband to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what yes. you need to do. Let's take a listen to the next question. Am I allowed to eat sushi while I'm pregnant? The sushi has always been a big gripe with me. It's raw fish in small portions, costing more than cooked fish in big portions. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing, like, are women allowed to eat sushi during pregnancy? I know it's a big sacrifice for many of them. But uh, the reason for it, obviously, is the way in which it's prepared, the way yes. in which fish is uh, defrosted, for example, if it's not fresh. Uh, and then, obviously, parasite infections associated with raw fish. But in South Africa, we also need to look at things like the mercury content of fish. Mm -hmm. Tuna and salmon both contain mercury, and those have been proven uh, to be teratogenic. In other yes. words, they can have an effect on the developing fetus. Not but sure. but can you it's avoid a, it completely? It's a, small, it's a small sacrifice. Nine months. Yes. So rather safe than sorry, if in doubt. Yeah. Rather safe than sorry. Best to avoid the sushi. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Next question. To drink wine or champagne during my pregnancy? Can I have alcohol during pregnancy? Not if you're Muslim, especially. You know, I always say, do you want to be the statistic that you had the little bit of alcohol and now look at what your baby turned out to be? Yes. Because for the first six months of the pregnancy, it's when you're forming the baby. The yes. first trimester, especially, I would say 100% no, no, no. But all, even into the second trimester, you still, the, the, the brain and the neural tube and the spinal column, they're still quite forming in, the, in, in, in that stage. So you don't know where it's going to intercept and cause problems. Okay. Yeah. And uh, 
uh, if you only find out you're pregnant when you're seven or eight weeks and you've had a couple of opscops. Yes. You yeah. know? So yeah. Is there anything you can do to reverse it or just hope the you next can't year? reverse it. I just cross your fingers and hope for the best. It's the same with smoking, I suppose. Yeah. Mm. It's always a lovely image to see a lady in full bloom when there's a cigarette. That's <laughs> terrible. It's certainly quite concerning and I actually find it really, really worrying about parents that don't have that insight. They don't understand. And obviously the habit's quite difficult to kick. Yeah. But uh, what better motivation than your offspring? So as soon as you know that you are pregnant, no alcohol, no cigarettes. Next question. What type of cold and flu medication can I use during pregnancy? So you're not allowed to treat yourself with cold and flu medication, apparently? No. Uh. This is a common question I get in my practice because a lot of the over-the-counter flu medications have anti-inflammatories, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, yes. which you should stay away from when you're pregnant yes. because they'll affect the baby's development, especially the heart. So the responsible thing to do would to consult a health practitioner, either your doctor or a homeopath, because you can't just say I'm taking something herbal yeah. because certain herbs also in certain quantities are harmful to a pregnant woman. So see somebody who's got like knowledge. Marijuana. <laughs> So see somebody who's got knowledge, um, more knowledge uh, as to what you should take and in what quantities. There are things available in the market, but you just need to speak to somebody about it. Don't just get things over the counter. What other myths have you heard? Like I've always heard the myth that you can't lift your hands up <laughs> above your head. Like you can't, you can't hang the washing oh, if you're pregnant. This clever, is what I've heard. Clever woman. Mm. No, this is what they told me. <laughs> when it comes to weight training, you should be very careful in your third trimester. Uh, try not to, to lift heavy machinery. So anything that's above your head for long periods of time uh, will alter the blood flow and it's, it's, you could faint. And that's really what it's about. But lifting a blouse so, shouldn't do blouse, that. A blouse, you know, short okay. spurts up, down with the arms. No real excuse. Sorry, ladies out there. <laughs> but yeah, also from my side, uh, eating for two is definitely something I've heard a lot and you know let's just say the average woman should be eating 1,500 to 2,000 calories a day it depends on how active you are that would make um, it possible to eat 4,000 calories a day that is like gluttony okay mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it's not the case you should be increasing your calorie uh, consumption by about 300 calories per day so you know the baby will get what it needs from your body always mm -hmm. what else have you heard um, well, I've heard that you shouldn't drink cold things, especially with ice, because your child will be born with pneumonia. I can categorically say that is not true. Okay. Mm, full Definitely stop. not true. Mm. Should you pet your cat during pregnancy? Oh, wow. That's a <laughs> big Stay one. away yeah, from it kitty cat. It is, it is important because, you know, what people don't realise is there are certain uh, parasitic or bacterial infections that are transmitted by your pets. Mm. You pack your cat up. Should you pack Garfield up and send him oh, to shame. Abu Dhabi? <laughs> No, I think um, hygiene becomes more important at this yes. stage because yeah. tox those, those infections can cause you to lose your baby. You can need to, you know, um, premature labour either in the first or even into the third trimester. So just be more mindful. If you are going to be near your cat, do go wash up. If you have to feed your cat and, you know, cuddle it, but maybe try not to be so close to it. And then do, you know, hand hygiene becomes more important Very and cleaning important. up after the cat as well. Definitely. Use a hand sanitizer mm -hmm. all the time, you know. Mm -hmm. Keep it in your handbag and yeah. after everything you touch, you just clean your hands. Yeah, so easy these days, those waterless hand washes. Mm -hmm. You know? Don't have to be near a tap. Okay, this one. Dyeing your hair during pregnancy. This <laughs> I've heard Let's ask the guy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's the guy. I haven't heard this one Pressure. before. <laughs> a lot of gynees actually advise their, their patients not to have their hair dyed, uh, especially during the last trimester, due to the release of inflammatory uh, products into the mm. bloodstream. And uh, I'm afraid anecdotal reports uh, are, are what we're going on at the moment, and science doesn't back not having your hair dyed. Mm. But I mean, if in doubt, you, there's also more natural products, organic, yeah. which don't yeah. have the chemicals, they don't yeah, no. use chemicals. Or just change your hair colour, because you're going through a transformation anyway, you might as well look completely different. Not hey, why not, you know? No, not no. a wig. <laughs> well, it's like, you know, December in Durban, yeah, no, you're no, wearing no. a wig. Oh, wig. Just go with the flow, go with the flow. <laughs> you look like Rian Kreewagen while you're pregnant. <laughs> Thank you to all, to all of you for being here today. I think the best advice we can offer our pregnant moms is to check with your nursing sister, pharmacist or medical doctor for factual and accurate information on pregnancy myths you come across. Rather be safe and sure for your well-being and that of your baby. Mm.